Welcome to Scary Stories, where we bring you tales of horror, suspense, and the supernatural. Today's story is a chilling account of a terrible disease that turns innocent animals into monsters, and a young man's journey to find hope and salvation in the face of despair. In the dense forests of the taiga, a new strain of rabies has taken hold, infecting wild animals and transforming them into killers who hate and exterminate all life. With their deadly bites, they have instilled genuine fear in the locals, who struggle to survive in a world gone mad. But amidst the chaos and terror, one man sets out on a journey of self-discovery and redemption. Haunted by the memory of his father's death and the horrors he witnessed in the wilderness, he embarks on a quest to find hope and light in the darkest of times. His journey takes him across the country, through dense forests and remote wilderness areas, as he encounters other survivors of the outbreak and shares their stories of pain, loss, and hope. In the end, he finds himself at a small cabin in the middle of the forest, where he discovers a letter from his father and a message of hope that will change his life forever. Join us now for a story that will chill you to the bone, but also inspire you to find hope and light in the darkest of times. The father, desperate to find a way to help his son overcome his addiction, thought the isolation of the wilderness would provide the perfect opportunity for him to detox. However, little did he know that the dangers lurking in the taiga were far more terrifying than anything his son had ever faced before. As they arrived at the hunting lodge, the father noticed that something was off. The usually bustling forest was eerily silent, and the animals that roamed freely seemed to have disappeared. His unease grew as he and his son settled into the isolated cabin. The first night was uneventful, but as the days passed, the father began to notice strange noises coming from outside the cabin. Low growls and snarls that sounded like they were coming from a pack of wild animals. He tried to ignore them, thinking it was just his imagination playing tricks on him, but deep down, he knew something was very wrong. One day, while he was out gathering firewood, he stumbled upon a gruesome scene. The remains of a deer, ripped apart by what looked like a pack of wolves, but there was something off about the way the carcass was torn apart. It was almost as if the attackers were not just animals but something much more sinister. As the days passed, the situation only grew worse. The animals became more aggressive, and the father and son had to barricade themselves inside the cabin to stay safe. But the monsters outside seemed to be getting smarter, learning how to break through the barricades and get closer and closer to the terrified pair. Finally, in a desperate attempt to save themselves, the father decided to venture out into the wilderness to find help. Armed with just a hunting rifle, he set out into the forest, leaving his son behind in the cabin. But as he walked deeper into the woods, he began to realize that he was not alone. Something was following him, something that was not quite human, something that hungered for his flesh. As he turned to face his attacker, the father realized with a sickening horror that he was face to face with one of the infected animals, now transformed into a monstrous killer. The creature lunged at him, its razor-sharp teeth bared, and the father knew that this was the end. He raised his rifle, ready to fire, but it was too late. The creature pounced on him, tearing him apart with its deadly claws, and as the father's life slowly ebbed away, he knew that he had brought his son to a place of unspeakable horror. A place where the monsters were real, and the only escape was death. Back at the cabin, the son waited anxiously for his father's return. He had no idea what was happening outside, but he could hear the sounds of violence and chaos growing louder and closer by the minute. As the night wore on, he heard his father's screams echoing through the forest, and he knew that something terrible had happened. The next morning, the son woke up to find the cabin surrounded by the infected animals, their blood-red eyes gleaming in the darkness. He could hear them scratching and clawing at the walls, trying to break through the barricades and get to him. He knew that he was running out of time. Desperate for help, the son reached for his cell phone, hoping that he would still have a signal. But as he pressed the power button, he realized with a sinking feeling that the battery was dead. He had no way to call for help, no way to escape, and no way to fight back. As the day wore on, the animals grew more and more aggressive, and the son knew that he was doomed. But then, just when all hope seemed lost, 
he heard the sound of a helicopter approaching. It was a rescue team, sent by the city authorities to contain the outbreak and save any survivors. With tears streaming down his face, the son watched as the helicopter landed and the rescue team rushed in, armed with tranquilizer guns and protective gear. They quickly subdued the infected animals and brought the son to safety, treating him for his injuries and providing him with the care and support that he needed to recover. But even as he lay in the hospital bed, surrounded by doctors and nurses, the son knew that he would never forget the horrors he had witnessed in the taiga. The monsters that had once been innocent animals had become something much more terrifying, something that had turned his world upside down and left him forever scarred. As the days passed, the son slowly recovered from his physical injuries, but the emotional scars remained. He struggled to come to terms with what had happened, haunted by the memories of his father's death and the terror he had experienced in the wilderness. He underwent therapy and counseling, but nothing seemed to help. He felt like he was trapped in a nightmare that he could never escape from. But then, one day, something changed. He received a letter in the mail, addressed to him from an anonymous sender. Inside was a map, with a note that read I know what you've been through. I know what it's like to feel trapped and alone. But there is a way out. Follow the map, and you will find what you're looking for. Curious and desperate for answers, the son decided to follow the map. He packed a bag and set out on a journey that would take him across the country, through dense forests and remote wilderness areas. As he traveled, he encountered other survivors of the outbreak, people who had also been affected by the monsters that had once been innocent animals. They shared their stories, their pain, and their hope for a better future. Finally, after weeks of traveling, the son arrived at his destination. It was a small cabin in the middle of a dense forest, surrounded by trees and wildlife. Inside, he found a letter, written in his father's handwriting. The letter explained that his father had known about the outbreak before they had even arrived at the cabin. He had hoped that the isolation of the wilderness would protect them from the virus, but he had been wrong. In the end, he had sacrificed himself to save his son. But the letter also contained a message of hope. His father had written that even in the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of light. There is always a way out, if you're willing to look for it. And so, the son decided to stay in the cabin, to make it his home, and to honor his father's memory by living a life of hope, love, and kindness. He knew that the monsters in the taiga had changed his life forever, but he also knew that he had the power to change the world around him, one small act of kindness at a time. In the end, the son realized that his story was not just his own, but a story of survival and hope that needed to be shared with the world. And so, he decided to join the YouTube channel Scary Stories, to tell his tale and to give a voice to all those who had suffered from the outbreak in the taiga. Through his videos, he shared the lessons he had learned, the fears he had faced, and the hope that had kept him going in the darkest of times. He knew that his story was just one of many, but he hoped that by sharing it, he could help others to find the strength to face their own demons. As he looked back on his journey, he realized that the monsters in the taiga had not just been animals infected with a terrible disease, but also the fears and doubts that had haunted him throughout his life. But by facing those monsters head on, he had learned to conquer them, to find the courage and hope to build a better future. And so, he continued to share his story, not just to scare people, but to inspire them, to show them that even in the darkest of times, there is always a way out, if you're willing to look for it. And that, in the end, is the true power of storytelling, to give voice to our fears, to find hope in the face of despair, and to inspire us all to be our best selves.